Hello, in this video I will simply show you how you can assign a null value to say an integer or to date time or to double. Basically a type, a variable of type where you cannot normally assign a null value. It has to be the default value. So either new date time in the day time or zero in an integer or a double. But there is a way to actually put in a null and it can actually be useful. I have used this feature. It's not something I use every day and everywhere, but it can be useful. So let's start with it. I'm not gonna get too technical with the names and the words, uh, but uh, first of all, we have a little integer right here. You see we have integer with a little question mark, okay? Question mark. So the question mark basically makes the integer nullable. And the i is, of course, the name of that variable. And as you can see, I can assign null. Now, if you don't know this, if I did, say, an integer a, and I assign null, that doesn't work. You cannot assign null on a normal integer. So this question mark, it gives you a few more options as well, and a few more problems at the same time. The first thing it gives you is this has value property. Basically, it's a check for null, so you don't have to do equals equals null, you just do has value. If it has a value, if it's not null, it will be true, and if it doesn't have value, it will be false. In this case, in this if statement right here, we're checking for it to be false, and if it is, we'll play around with these assignments uh, to the variable. The first one, as you can see is value one, integer value one, newly created one, and we assign this i. But what you can see here, see, it cannot assign. It won't work, it won't work. So that's not great and that's not good. And the second one is five, a simple number. And yes, it can be assigned. We'll later run this. So, so a number, a simple number, can be assigned to a simple integer. That works perfectly fine, right? Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, and then we have uh, the simple i assigned to that integer. That's not good. Now I'll show you the vice versa way later. But then we also have this integer, simple integer value free, and we assign the value. But you see right here, the value is still null. So if I just put a breakpoint right here, we will need that later, and I run the application, you will see what happens. It will throw an exception right here. It doesn't even let me build because of the first one, so you need to comment that just quickly and show you uh, how it throws the exception. It will throw this exception. You see it says nullable object uh, must have a value. Okay, it cannot assign a null because at the end of the day, this i value is null. So it is the same as doing this, null. And you see that does not work. However, if we go back and if I now say do i value equals five, okay, that will then work. I just need to assign it properly. But then you see right here, I have another issue, right? I have another issue. I do the value, but what you see right here, the value is get. So you never assign the value, okay? You assign it like this, just like normal variable, just like you would do a string or anything else. You just assign it. You do not go into the property. The property is only for getting, retrieving that value. So it can be a bit confusing, but it's all quite uh, clear and simple. So now if I run this, it will work perfectly fine because it's already five. As you can see, value in this case is five and value three became five. That's all great and good. Now, for the last one, this is how, this is the only way to use I. Okay, if I move forward, you can see right here, value four is five because we simply assigned I. Now, you can also use this, you can also use this if i is null, okay, if i is null, so let's remove that, just quickly run it. If i is null, everything will work perfectly fine because as you can see, this new variable, this new integer, uh, this fails, of course, so let's remove that. But this new integer, value four, 
that is again a nullable integer okay a nullable integer so it works perfectly fine as you can see the value is null that's all great and good so as you can see the get is on the value therefore you can only retrieve it you cannot assign it through the value you just have to assign it in a normal way i equals five and then if you want to set a null you have to set it on a nullable integer now this code just like any other code on my youtube videos is available on patreon you also get uh, some free courses of mine you can choose whichever one you want and depending on your tier which you choose on patreon you'll get uh, different uh, courses and different uh, amount of courses you will be able to choose now that said we will conclude this video